So let's get near the fire. Oh no! Where? Hey gals and goons, welcome to another episode with the Unkempt Gamer, doing a little bit more of Green Hell Story Mode. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Um, also, just wanted to give a quick shout out to the Green Hell team. If you noticed in the last video, um, when I was uh, harvesting sticks, chopping down trees, uh, one thing that kind of struck me as odd was that um, there was, it seemed like there was some long sticks missing. And I think if, it was around the 20 minute mark, if you watch that, you see the amount of long sticks I have decay down to zero. I posted on the uh, bug forums, and pretty much immediately somebody from the uh, development team responded and said they're looking into it. So I think that's fantastic. Probably just some small little issue uh, with. Um, with the actual the decay rates on those. I know that that was something that they've added recently. And sp speaking of decay rates, um, <laughs> yeah, stuff disappears at random. Um, I still am working on uh, figuring out which decays more. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to create a little uh, mud area over there. We're also going to make uh, my all-time favorite uh, um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the uh, structure. That's the word. Uh, my own personal favorite structure. The um, the uh, water filter and uh, to help with the decaying uh, issue. What I'm probably going to end up doing too is building a um, a uh, chest somewhere. Uh, whatever whatever that thing is called. Where is it? A storage box. Okay. So. Without further ado, I think. Well, first we actually need to address our vitals. So let's do that. Get that energy back up. Okay, what was that again? Let's see. We've got these guys. Yeah, we don't have a lot of time on these guys, so just eat them. A little bit of carbs. A lot of bit of, lot of bit of fats. But yeah, because of that decay rate, I'm actually kind of nervous about dropping my um, dropping my badon on the ground. I don't want to do it. Um, so what should we attack first? Ooh, yes, bamboo. Oh, I've got to hold on to the bamboo stick. Okay. Yeah, I'm just a little nerd. Oh, wait, that's right. We got meat over here. So we're... I just don't know how quick this is going to cook. Our poor friend, the, uh, the, uh, jaguar or the, that we killed yesterday. Um, or is it a le leopard? Whatever it was. It had spots. We killed him. We made food out of him. You know what? Yeah, let's do this. Let's just put a fire together just so we have some proteins. Because it's probably going to take a little while for that meat to dry. I really should have just held on to it. Um, but I didn't, <laughs> obviously. Put it on the dryer. I should have built a fire. But we'll take care of that right now. And I have to train my ear. Yeah, okay. So we'll see, case in point right there. I have to train my ear to remind myself that that's just probably a little armadillo. I mean, better safe than sorry, right? But still, it seems like I, I scare myself 9.9 .9 times out of 10, when in actuality it's nothing. Okay, I think we've got enough for a little fire here. My little froggy friends. Yeah, there's one right there. hate those guys. Wee! Sheesh. Okay. Let's see here. Let's build a fire. <laughs> hmm. That's interesting. Okay. I thought we already messed with that. Like, a long time ago. Oh, okay. It probably wants me to pick all this stuff up. I'm hoping that's what it is. Because I don't think... Yeah, you can't pick that up. Reading it is the only activity you can... Action you can perform on it. Huh. There we go. That was weird. Okie dokie. What is... Uh, okay, it's a cappy. Okay, we've only got... What was that? 7% on the old hand drill? I know I talked about making a bow drill in the last episode. Maybe we should do that too. Okay. Come on back, little buddy. Yeah. Arrgh. Okay, 
can't keep an eye on him. I don't have the best luck with this. Did he fall? Oh, there I, he went. He's way over there. I think. Man, I swear. If I don't get a headshot, I don't get anything. And we've got two arrows left. Ugh. We got quite a few feathers. Uh, I'd like to keep one stick on me at all time, but gonna have to belay that for a second just to get more get more arrows just in case because we saw what happens when uh, when you don't have enough of something <laughs> if you don't have enough of something in the last episode it can get you into trouble but luckily we lucked out of that do I have a stone on me? no let me pick that bad boy up all right. Well, let's just let's look. Let's see if we can't find that little guy. I hate meat to go to waste like that. Yeah, it could take forever to find him. It's like a needle in a haystack. Boo. Yeah. Oh well. Oh well. What you gonna do? Pick up mushrooms. That's what you gonna do. Okay. Eh, you know what? Let's make it fun. The lovely parasites. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have to eat through these. There we go. Still got a little bit of time on those. All right, hunting in the rain, hunting in the rain. Yeah, that's a little guy. Let's get one of these fellers. Whoops. There we go. Just lead a little bit more. Let the arrow lead a little bit more with that one. Oh, look at that durability on this bow. It's a good find. <laughs> Whoa! What was that? <laughs> Bones just flew everywhere. Poor guy exploded on us. Okay, now that we've gotten this. Okay, good. We're not overweight. Oh, but darn, are we close? We can still pick up a stick here and there, right? Looks like the rain might wash us off. That's cool. Eh, you know what? Let's 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 help it. Don't want to accidentally eat something. And the rain should make us totally yeah, make us totally clean. Uh, pretty soon. Let's see how quick this refills itself now that it's raining. Okay, that was 20 hydration. Oh wait, 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 wait. 10 hydration. May see, that is quick. Okay, let's put some peccary right here, and two should do us. I think two is fine. There we go. So we're going to have our food, so next on the agenda is let's build a, uh, a little mud area over here. So, just gonna put it right here, as close as possible. Doesn't need to be anything fancy. I think I need more sticks, yeah. Sticks everywhere. Okay. Come on, buddy. And we're going to need four logs. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use my bone blade. I need to get some more practice with that and preserve the hatchet a little bit. Man, it's getting dark already? Good lord, we got to hustle. Uh, 
That was quick, wasn't it? I think this one has a couple of thick logs, a couple of loggy boys. It's gonna take a little bit longer with this. That hand axe, that hatchet really has me spoiled. Okay, get this, get that. And let's get this guy too. I'm gonna wa watch these like a hawk. Of course, if I can find them. That's half the battle. Oh well. It'll turn up, and we're not really after these right now anyway. But yeah, this is one of my favorite areas where it's like there's so many, so much stuff that just screams and hisses at you. <laughs> you're, you're just minding your own business. You know, chopping down trees and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, the day got away from us really fast. It gets dark quick around here. Oh, another thing. Um, I'm playing around with the rendering on my uh, uh, video editing software. Um, I found some interesting info on uh, different things you can do to render the video more better. So I'm hoping that the quality increases um, in the next in this video. So if you notice a difference, just let me know. Um, just going to make a couple adjustments to settings. I have made a few adjustments to settings, but the quality hasn't really increased exponentially. But there's something else I'm going to try. Another thing I'm going to do is, um, you know, what I've started to do in the last two videos is I'm starting to lighten it up a little bit. Whoa, what is it? Oh, okay, that was a plant. Lighten things up a little bit more, um, adjust the brightness so that y'all can see better at night, uh, even if I can't. <laughs> um, like right now it's getting pretty dark, but on your screen, it, it will on your screen show that, um, uh, that, that it's a little bit brighter than what I'm seeing right here. Okay, we needed four, and now we need four more. You better get away from me, boy. Yeah, yeah, you too. Oh no! I burnt the peccary! I know. Oh, it's just. Okay, cool. I thought we were having a repeat of uh, the other day's shenanigans. <laughs> what, what the heck? Oh my gosh. <sighs> my own water collector scared me. I. What are y'all gonna do with me? I don't know. <gasps> I don't know what to tell you guys. <laughs> and we're getting dirty, but that doesn't really mean anything, right? Yeah, this guy's pretty... Oof! I do believe that landed on my head. Ah, here we go. There's one. And there's the other. Oh, don't quit on me now, brother. Oh, it's because I got the meat on me, that's right. Okay, so what are we going to do? Is there anything we can unload? Because it's probably something very simple. Let's just eat some stuff, see if that fixes it. All the meanwhile, addressing our vitals at the same time. Oh, that's right, I was going to eat one of these. Durr. Yeah, a little bit more. Those guys are still holding strong. Now, okay, there's a long stick. Where's the other long boy? I don't see it. There it is. Okay. Fabulous. And let's just put this somewhere where we'll notice it. Oh, I hate that sound. That little shriek. And that shriek too. <laughs> okay, where are you? This will work. This will do just fine. Time to check for the old leecherinos. Oh, hello, fellas. Time to go. Hope you enjoyed your trip. Gosh, now it's really dark. Ugh. I think, yeah, these. I think these are the last two that I need. Yeah, I'm just gonna boogie out of here. The only thing that's uh, guiding me <laughs> was the the blueprint thing for the uh, 
for the mud mud box, whatever this is called. All right, so here's what we can do. Let's take some mud. And I know we picked up at least one um, campfire ash, so we should have something on us. Yep, there we go. And what we can do now... Gosh, I can't even see the water. But we know it's there, right? Okay, there we go. Okay, so next I think what we should do... What time is it? Okay, well, yeah, what time is it? Seven, okay. So let's get near the fire. Oh no! Where? Whoosh! He ran off! Did you see that? Oh my god, where did he go? Oh my god, he bolted. Whoa. I heard a little growl. And, uh, yeah. He took off right before I shot the arrow. I saw his silhouette barely right over there. Oh my gosh. Whoo. Oh boy, that was fun. That was something I really enjoyed. God, I hope he doesn't come back. Wow. Two sightings, two predator sightings in, in a 24-hour period. Well, probably 18-hour period now that I think about it. Yowza, yowza, yowza. Okay, well, that was a, that was a, certainly a thing. Um, <laughs> where were we? Okay, carbs, yes, of course. Yeah, okay, good. So, what was I gonna do um, besides change my underwear again? Um, let's do this. Let's. <laughs> that reminds me. There we go. Let's do that. That gives us five, and that's, that's, that's where we wanna be right now. But yeah, I also wanna make a, um, I also want to make a, um, a container, a storage box, so that I can um, put these cans in there and coal. I don't, want to, I don't want these to go poof on me. And after the whole, um, you know, long stick situation yesterday, I don't know what poofs and what doesn't. Okay. Yeah, we still got a little bit of time. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to go over here and grab these remaining uh, long boys and bring them. Uh, bring them back to camp. Okay, that, that makes me wonder. Were there three here earlier? I, I think there were. I can't remember. We'll just say there were three. Trust but verify, right? I'll look back on the video. And we got that. I think we got five there. Still waiting on some water. No problem. So. I don't know if this is going to be enough sticks to sustain it all night. Oh, you know what? Yeah, I've got a little charcoal. That should do the trick. Alright, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go to bed, and um, I will see you in the morning. Oh, alright. We are back. It is, what, about 5.30? Yep, 5.45 in the morning. And when I was sleeping, I noticed that it had the little scribble sound. Okay. So, still looking for climbing gear. Nowhere to be found, huh? Any ideas? Well, I have a map, a marker, notebook, and a sense of humor. Is that so? Staying positive is a first rule of survival. Everyone knows that. And what's the second? Weird. It, does the does the mixing mud animation look different than it used to? I don't know. Could have sworn it was different. I'll have to look at an old video. Um, surviving, of course. Oh, you just you just went ahead and yeah. said it. You didn't wait for me to do the reply. Like okay, okay, Jake. All right. I guess you're the one in control. <laughs> oh, you know what? We gotta attend to our vitals. Okay. Let's see. Is that banana still good? Barely. One minute and 46 seconds left on it. Okay. We got nuts. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how close these are to being done. Still got a ways to go. Probably another half of the day, I would think. So 
Gosh, that freaking lizard, man. Yeah. These still got plenty of time, so I'm not too worried about that. And we still have our mystery can. Okay, we're looking good. Okay, so we've got that put together. Um, next order of business. Oh gosh, you know what? I just realized something. How much campfire ash do I have? None. Okay, one. Okay, so first things first. Eesh. I hate to... You know, we have, we have to have this as sustaining. Man, I could always turn these into campfire ash. I don't know if y'all knew that or not, but you can harvest charcoal and make campfire ash with it. You can harvest charcoal and make campfire ash with it. Um, but the other thing that you can do to generate campfire ash and charcoal is, I mean, is it under here? Maybe it is. Yeah, the mud charcoal furnace. Um, and it only takes three mud bricks, technically four. Um, hmm. and how many do we need? For the other stuff, whoops. We need two mud bricks for the storage box, so not a lot. And we need, so that's two, four, that's six. We need five for the mud water filter, so you know what we can do? We can make the mud water filter first and yeah and go from there and because I'm incredibly biased <laughs> okay so mud okay I'm mud five so we have five and we have one two three four five. okay good we've got enough and we've got long sticks which is half the battle I'm gonna put it over here I was thinking about it. I'm going to put it over here for a couple different reasons. Um, number one, uh, well, I guess, you know, number one, just because it, there's space here, obviously. But um, I want to build it away from my fire. That was weird. I'm going to build it away from my fire as well, okay? Um, I know that's not that far, but I want to build it over here. I've been attacked by natives before, and it seems like they come from that side. They don't come from this side. I just don't want them to destroy it. Um, I kind of, hmm. No, I don't want to put it over here because the other thing is I want to build it during the rainy season because it's got, it's got two sections to it. It's got the place for the dirty water to go in. and the, Oh, wait, I need six charcoal. Oh, no. Okay, but it's got a place for the dirty water to go in here, and then it becomes clean water. If you build it during the rainy season, both fill up with clean water, so you've got twice as much clean water in there. And I always drink it. Not that it matters. I always drink it from up here when both of them are clean. Oh, man. How much charcoal do I have? Blah. I might have to build that freaking thing for... I have five, and guess how many I need? Six. Okay, well, we're we're stuck, and I'm not going to sit here and wait for my campfire to burn out, that's for sure. So, let's do this. Let's build the stinking... Blech. Yeah, that's okay. It's like day 13 or something, so it's not like... It's not like the rainy season's going to be over, like, tomorrow, I think. So, okay, I'm going to put him, like, right there. There we go. And if you notice, I'm building my fire stuff over over on this side as well, so that if natives do come, it'll they'll come to this side. So yeah, let's get this guy taken care of. And you know what I should do? Let me just take all all this mud out. Once I'm done with this, and then just start a new mud making kit. <laughs> the Unkempt Gamer's little mud making kit. I hope this mud doesn't like disappear on me like the sticks did. Oh, come on. Okay. Let's put that right there. Oh, that's adorable. Look at that. 
<laughs> this mud, why is this so difficult to get out? I don't remember it being this difficult. And what I'm doing, I'm just taking advantage of the rain right now. Uh, so that I don't have to get water and throw it in here. And it sounds like the rain's ending. It is. It has ended. But that's okay. That's okay. It'll come back while I'm doing this other stuff. So we've got our little... Um, coal making thing over here. And I also want to build a storage box. How many did I need? Did it just say I needed two? Oh, honey, we are good. Yes. Just need to go get some sticks. And I'm going to pick up small... I'm going to pick up small sticks, too. I swear I hear something. I know those footsteps. The footsteps aren't the problem. You know what? I'm going to put an end to these footsteps, footsteps for the time being. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> You're cramping my style. Plus, I need a little snack while my food dries. Okay, we need a bunch of sticks. Sticks, sticks, sticks. But yeah, I also don't want to drop that bamboo stick that we worked so hard for, for the mud filter. I don't want it to poof on me. And next thing you know, then i got to go all the way back out there. But more realistically, I'd probably go to the uh, cocaina manufacturing facility because that's a little bit closer. Um, easier access. Oh, you know what? We need some big logs. And I'm just going to use this bad boy. We need some big logs as well, so I'm just going to do this right now. We can have everything, or most stuff, because we need the planks from them. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. And I've got a little lychee boy on me. No problem. Let's get this puppy over here. There we go. Nope, not done with you yet, Jake. Here, we'll let you wash yourself off. And let's... Oops, wrong button. Let's see here. Where are you, my blood-sucking friend? There you are. Okay. So, we've got that. We've got that. So, give it the old boom. What? Okay, there's the plank. Okay, good. <laughs> Did you like that? What? <laughs> there we go. Oh, you know what? Speaking of protein, you don't look poisonous. Okay, perfect. Let's get this set up over here so we can have a little midday snack. I've noticed when you harvest stuff like frogs that you don't get any dirtiness on you. Uh, maybe you get a little bit, I'm just not aware, but I haven't noticed anything like that. Oh yeah, we need some water. That hit the spot. Okay. Yeah, those are about the same. Okay, good. So we're good on that account. My bones have taken on a life of their own. That's interesting. Okay, we've got that cooking up. And another thing I need to check is the amount of space in my backpack, which is disgusting. I've got all this nonsense in here. I'm just going to have to drop these, which is fine. Um, let's put that right there because we have to make room, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and destroy those. We don't need that herb. Well, at least not right now. Um, let's see, because eventually you're going to need to pick up these planks, and these planks are the biggest pain in the rear end. Look at that. It's like incredibly difficult to get anything in your backpack. I mean, to have enough space. There we go. Okay, fantastic. So I'm just going to hold on to that one for now. And I think what I'm going to do... Oh, and look at that. I forgot about the two logs that, like, come with the place. 
And I think, where's a good spot to have it? Yeah, I guess right here. There we go. And we'll just put the storage box right here. How's that? Okay, so we have used that many sticks, sticks, sticks. Yeah, we need a lot more. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop these bad boys off. What was it again? I think was it alt and you can carry them all? Yes, there we go. I love that feature. Okay. Now let's go get some more stickerinos. I think six will probably do. I'm, I'm just guessing here. Like Dorian Gray said, you can never have too much rope. Am I right? But don't ching. <laughs> Sorry, that was a terrible joke. Okay. So we can, let's just get two more sticks, and I think that'll do it. Yeah. There's plenty more out there, but let's just get this box taken care of so I can throw those cans in there. That's my biggest thing. I don't want those cans to disappear, because eventually I'd like to uh, make a... Um, what do you call it? I'd like to make a. Um, you can do this, unkempt gamer. What do you use your words, man? Um, I'd like to make one of those. Uh, it's like a blacksmith thing. Okay, there we go. And we should be able just to pick this one up. Yeah. And the rain is here, so that's good. So did I get it set up right? Yes. Okay. So you should see this start to fill up. See right there? It's filling up because of the rain. Normally you'd have to carry over, you know, bidons or whatever one at a time. Splash, 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 splash. But the rain just takes care of everything for you right there. And let's see. I'm sure I need carbs. Oh yeah, I sure do. So let's just do what I do and eat these right off the vine. <laughs> and we've got two different types of mushrooms on here. Don't see that very often. That's kind of cool. Okay, let's go ahead and give this the old mixery do. Take a sip from my Pepsi. Yes, uh, it's a little early to be uh, doing a little drinky drink right now. Uh, still early evening, but the night is still very, very young. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. So I'm going to put cans over here. That's weird. What the heck? Maybe... Nope. That's really weird. Okay. Alright, whatever. We'll figure that out later. I'm going to put charcoal over here. And let's just... Oh, yes. I love that. And this guy... We can put these guys back down. Because I don't know that we're going to... Oops. Okay. There we go. Okay. So we've got that. We need more sticky sticks. And you know what? I think I want to make a bow drill right now because we're going to need one, yeah, really soon. I should have made one the other day, but I mean, in, in retrospect, it's not that big of a deal because um, I was out on a freaking island and, uh, you know, I don't even know if I had all the right materials. So, no worries. But we're here now and we are good to go and we are going to tear this up and we're going to make a bow drill. What do you say? There we go. And of course, I'm probably not going to have the room. <laughs> I mean, we do. Will this work? Whoops. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've got that. Let's also make a bow. I guess, hence, what the heck? Putting the bow in bow drill. So we've got that pumpy. And what it's 42 and my bow oh yeah no question which one to use okay craft we get this and we got the rock we got that what are we missing is it a stick yes oh okay I see what I'm doing I'm accidentally picking that up okay awesome look at that beautiful love it so hand drill you served us well, thank you. Firebow, don't let us down. All right.
Speaking of which, <laughs> fire's getting a little low. No worries there. We got you. Alright, so next on the agenda is, oh gosh, burning the meat. I am so good at that. Okay, no problem. As you may remember in the last episode, we just go ahead and eat that. We don't care about the sanity. Oh, and that, that, I forgot, oh, that's right, armadillo meat takes a little while to cook. Okay, cool. Takes longer than froggy frog meat, and we'll hold on to him for a minute. We'll take a nibble off of this, because it's getting ready to expire anyway. And yeah, here we go. And you know what? I've got the mystery can. I'm just going to put it in here with this. Are you? Oh my god. Alright, fine, whatever. Again, I'll figure that out later. Um, we've got that, we've got that. We need to get some sticks. And then it looks like we're just going to have to wait. Okay, let's, let's go get some more sticks, man. Let's just load up. Because I want to get all this done, because in the next episode, I want to go visit a couple places of interest. You know, everything that I'm doing right now, it's, it's you can look at it as playing it safe, but I really want to experience everything in the game. Another thing that I want to do, uh, I'm so scared of those freaking frogs, right? I want to pick one up, man. And I want to, I mean, it can't, I mean, I'm sure it's bad, but you've got to be able to, you know, like, I don't, it, I'm assuming it's poison and not like, um you know, infection or anything weird like that. So what I really want to do, I'm, I'm, I want to pick up a frog. <laughs> and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some soups and stuff like that ready so that um, so that I can cure myself just to see what happens. I think that that would be a lot of fun. Um, but, you know, I've definitely you know, got enough uh, coconut shells. Um, what I may do, and I may do this off camera, I may get enough stones to... Um, make a fire ring, may move the fire. I haven't figured it out yet exactly how I want to do it, but I'll get some stuff together so that if I if I do get sick, I won't plop dead. Hello. Those things are like the Sith. They always come in twos. You know what? Okay, we've got we've got quite a few stickerinos. And don't mind if I do. Oh, you know what? Did I spy? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, never mind. Oh, that's right. I got nine sticks, but I've also got one bamboo stick in there. That's why it's doing that. So, gosh, I've never had this many long sticks before in my presence. Don't take that the wrong way. Whoops. And then... No... Okay, we're almost there. We're almost there. Just a couple more sticks. This is cool. There's even more sticks over here. Yeah, and I prefer to use the small sticks over the, the regular sticks in that. But right now, I'm just kind of in a hurry. I'm trying to beat the the evening. Yeah, where it's, it's going to be dark really soon. And, you know, you can always come out here with a torch and everything. But that's really only useful during the dry season. Um, torches are not very useful during the wet season right now, and um, yeah, you'd just be wasting your time, and you'd be, <laughs> it's never fun to be out in the middle of where wherever you are, and uh, all of a sudden it starts raining, it goes out, and it's in the middle of the night. But during the dry season, it's actually pretty useful. Um, you know, you can, you can know your way well enough to... Um, to, to get around just fine, you know, noticing places of, okay, noticing places of interest. I don't want that. I do want this. Okay. Oh my god. Just, ugh, those frickin' pigs, man. Peccaries. I'm gonna eat every single one before I leave this place. There's not gonna be anything left. <laughs> I'm kidding. That would be wasteful. All right. Whoops. Bada boom. Looky loo. Okay. And I don't. Oh, okay. Those are the extras. Okay. Cool. So let's get this bad boy started because once we get 
our um, our charcoal will be ready to rock and roll Bitch. there we go and there we go and I don't know in a couple of game hours we'll be I can always do that we will be disco gosh this little punk okay oh dang that's right I have all these sticks so another thing I want to do while we're waiting I think it's down here just make a little small stick yeah small stick stand say that three times or five times fast and we have a spot for our sticks and I'm gonna use, I use the small sticks the most so I put it right there it's just a nice um, easy accessible way of doing things so we also need to attend to our hitchhikers our stowaways yeah. have a nice trip ah, ah, ah. and how are we doing okay we could use a little bit of carbs you know my favorite thing to do <laughs> live life dangerously there we go it says okay that's weird it says we got two parasites but it gave us four I've noticed that interesting I'm sure it's just an oversight um, I actually like the idea of different areas giving you different amounts of parasites like one area might give you two one might give you four who knows that nasty area with the the skeletons the carcasses in there I mean maybe that gives you six I mean it just kinda adds a little bit of flavor no pun intended <laughs> it adds a little bit of flavor to um, to the game itself you know maybe the waterfall gives you two parasites and it only gives it to you like 25 percent of the time because that water looks pretty clean um, that'd be kinda cool yeah, it just looks like a little things that dev, a little thing the devs should should take a look at. That saying you only got two parasites when in actuality you got four. And I'm good with this river giving you four parasites. It's not very clean. That's totally that totally makes sense. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about our three banded friend. Okay. And a little bit more carbs. I love how that just gives you a huge bump in energy. That's awesome. One day. Yeah, these are all the same. So I'm going to push these up here. And these I need to eat first. And these little snacks I'm just going to put in here. I think they were saying these don't ever go bad, but I'm just going to play it safe. I'm sure that's all carbs. My <laughs> candy bar. time is it right now? Oh, we still need carbs. And no, those are snails. Boo! Let's go check our nanner field. We're a nanner farmer. Yee! Gah. Okay, I know I always jump. I legit thought, I'm like, okay, it's go, t it's go time. You know, like, I thought, okay, here it is. This is how you go down, Mr. Unkempt Gamer. I'll take that. But I think this is where I'm going to end it. Um, we got some. We had to get a little unintentionally sidetracked, you know. Um, that's okay. We had to get some stuff. We definitely needed this uh, charcoal burner. Um, we got our mud pit going. Um, in our next video, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together um, the. Um, oh no! I got to go pick up. Did I did I pick it up? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, I picked the bamboo stick up. <laughs> As I was saying, I think we're going to set up the water purifier in our next episode. shouldn't take too long, and we'll, we'll squeeze in visiting some areas of interest. I think it's important that now that once I get the water purifier in there, this is like the base of operations, you know. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple, but it's going to have everything that we need to be able to kind of go out, and we'll set up little satellite areas along the way just in case we need to travel extended di distances and we won't be able to make it all the way back over here. We'll have these little satellite areas out there where basically we only would need to make half the trip. We would stay there at the satellite base, make a fire, cook some meat if we had some, you know, collect water, whatever we needed to do, and then the very next day um, we'd be able to 
boogie on out back over here to this main base. That's kind of my goal to have little satellite bases set up. And my goal in this uh, playing in this story mode isn't to like beat it the fastest, as you can tell. It's to enjoy the experience. And that's not hating on people that I see. I haven't watched them, but I see these videos out there in YouTube land where they're doing speed videos and stuff. I think that's really cool. I just want to experience this in all its glory, you know, based on um, the free time that I have and uh, the experiences themselves. Just looking. That's why I want to do things. You know what? Maybe maybe in the next video, what we'll do is we'll build the water purifier and we'll we'll play with some poison dart frogs. Maybe we'll do that first. Speaking of enjoying the game, and then we'll go do the the plane. Yeah, you know, we'll, we'll maybe we'll go check out the plane. I think that's the next closest thing or whatever. We'll we'll see what's out there. But yes, um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so that you receive notifications. Um, leave a comment down in the in the comment section. Um, I really enjoy the feedback. I really enjoy the questions that y'all ask. Um, for example, um, MT Cool. Uh, she uh, and then the last video she put, hey, d hey, did you notice that um, you can save in the in the boat area? And it's so funny. I watched my video again because she had mentioned a calendar. I'm like, oh my god, there's a okay, that's so cool. So you guys point out little things as well, which I really appreciate. It helps me enjoy the game. Just don't spoil anything for me, because <laughs> I don't know how this ends yet. I've been trying so hard, to, and and I've been successful in staying away from other YouTube videos, and and the uh, I haven't been very active on the discussion boards as well, except for just communicating, you know, stuff with devs. But um, yeah, no spoilers, please. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you when I see you.